Let's Tony Hancock in. Hancock's half hour. Do you know anything about gardening, Sid? Flaming cheat. Of course I do. How can you ask that? Just look outside the window at all my efforts over the last 10 years. I am looking outside the window, Sid. And it's a mass of weeds, isn't it? <laughs> you do know the difference between weeds and flowers, don't you? What have we got? Weeds. <laughs> Are they the green ones? Yes, that's right, Sid. <laughs> then you should have brought some flowers, shouldn't you? I can only work with what I've given. Anyway, why do you want to know? Well, there's been a strange story circulating about people getting seeds through the post they haven't ordered from China and some other countries. And there's one chap we've got our eyes on in the UK. He keeps doing it. <laughs> it's all right, Hancock. I never got any free seeds, did I? I know. Otherwise, the garden would be blossoming and full of nice flowers and not full of weeds, wouldn't it? Uh, so who's sending the seeds? I'll get in contact with him. Oh, you mustn't contact this bloke we got our eyes on. Uh, we'll have to wait and see and see if he sends us some seeds without you asking. Maybe it's all innocent. Maybe they're just free gifts or free samples. Innocence is never our high priority, Sid. We're not going to get much money from the police or councils. If there's nothing suspicious, will we? <laughs> suspicious, will we? The government are concerned there might be more sinister reasons, like trying to destroy our countryside with alien plant species. What sort of seeds are we talking about? I wouldn't mind if someone sent me some alien seeds. Oh, that's it, Sid. That's it. We've solved the problem. People have been sending you packets of weed seeds, and you've been putting them in because you know nothing about gardening. <laughs> Oh, who have we got coming round this morning? His name's Arthur Slugs, the owner of one of the biggest seed companies in Surrey, Slugs Seeds. Quite catchy, that, isn't it? However, some people don't know if he's selling slugs or he's selling seeds. <laughs> A lot of people have been ringing the police saying he sent them seeds they haven't ordered, and the police want us to find out why. <laughs> Good morning. Have you seen the state of your garden? It's full of weeds. I can help you. <laughs> it's alright mate. We like weeds. Thank you very much. I'm very good with weeds. They're the working class of the plant world. <laughs> However, I'm more a dahlium chrysanthemum sort of chap. I like my blooms showy. Oh good. I've got some lovely dahlia seeds and several varieties of chrysanthemums. They're called mums, you know, for sure. I used to give them to my mum. <laughs> Yes, thank you very much. I wouldn't mind some seeds, but don't give them to Seed. He thinks he's the gardener. But he's got yellow fingers, you know. You mean green fingers, don't you? No, oh, yellow. It's the nicotine. It's the kiss of death to plants, but there you go. <laughs> he tries hard, bless him. <laughs> don't listen to him. I wouldn't mind having some seeds for nothing either, Mr Slugs. Of course I would. I'm a very generous person. The flowers always say so, because I'm always watering them. I'll just pop them in the post, and you'll wonder if your fairy godmother has waved her magic wand and sent you some seeds. So it is you. You're the person sending people seeds they haven't bought. What exactly is your game, Mr Slugs? Are the seeds coated in something? <coughs> Hold him down, Sid. He's struggling. <laughs> All right, Angle. Why are you eating me? You must be mad. Let me go. I only offered you some seeds. You should be grateful. If you don't stop, I'll call the police. We are the police. Then why don't you act like it? It's not an act. This is what we're like. We are what it says on the packet. Unlike your seeds. <laughs> I think we ought to let him go, Hancock. Yes, 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 that's all right, all right. Well, calm down. Let him go, Sid. I don't know what came over me. Let's deal with this in a civilised manner. So don't hit him, Sid, unless he refuses to answer a question. <laughs> the East Team Police said you wanted to see me, but they told me you were nice men. What have I done? You've been sending unsolicited seeds to hundreds of people all over the place, Mr Slugs, and you're making some people very worried. They think the seeds must be dangerous. They're only seeds. You put them in the ground and water them, and they turn into lovely plants. Exactly. That's what Jack thought when he was sent some magic bean seeds through the post, before a ruddy great beanstalk erupted in his garden and his mum started boxing his ears. <laughs> 
that's Jack and the Beanstalk. That's just a fairy story. You may think it's a fairy story, Mr. Slugs, but looking at it from here, it has the ring of truth as far as we are concerned. Whereas, what you're saying is a complete fairy tale. <laughs> oh, stop messing about. I am not messing about. Some of these alien species have been running wild. They're taking over gardens. They make SIDS look like the Chelsea Flower Show. <laughs> My plants aren't wild, they're trained. I wouldn't let that happen. They're not greedy. All they want is their own little pot, garden or vegetable patch, or even a flannel. They don't want to take over the whole planet. They wouldn't hurt a fly. Except the Venus fly traps, that is. You can't be sure. You cannot be sure. The minute they're sitting there pretending to mind their own business in a flower pot. Next minute, whoosh, they're all over the place. Turn your back and there's a beanstalk shooting up to heaven. Or snap and there's puss in a Venus flytrap. <laughs> it's just not true. They talk to me and they tell me all about themselves, their hopes and dreams. So I know they wouldn't do anything like that. They're kind, like me. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you can't fool us. We're not as green as grass, you know. Now you come to mention it, I've got some grass seeds as well. If you want some cocksfoot and pendulous sage, that is. Oh, <laughs> uh, no thanks very much. We've got enough grass already. Sid hasn't got a lawnmower. <laughs> Tell me more about some of these other plants you're giving away. What do they actually turn into? You remember the Triffids, don't you? They were on television. They invade your brain and take you over. <laughs> I had a girlfriend once like that. She must have been a bit of a Triffid. I think she invaded my brain. You haven't got a brain, Sid. <laughs> Whatever it is, Mr. Slugs, something's happening and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. We can't let foreign DNA run amok, can we? <laughs> How are you feeling this morning, Sid? I feel fine. I had a couple of beers last night and I slept soundly. I didn't hear a noise at all. Drop right off, I did. Slept silently, did you? Like what, as if you were drugged? Are you aware of any after effects after the visit of our Mr. Slug? Like what exactly? Hay fever? Yes, hay fever, sneezing, palpitations, funny rashes, hot flushes, you know. Large gaping putrid wounds, that sort of thing. <laughs> hot flushes? I'm not an old lady. Right, I've got a checklist here. Have you looked outside for sudden appearances of growths? You know, beanstalks, plants with large flowers that cough in your face and refuse to wear a mask. <laughs> Why should there be large flowers outside trying to cough in my face? Uranium plants, Sid. NASA are up there on the moon and Mars. The Chinese as well. Goodness knows what Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson might have brought back with them. They're even chasing after asteroids from the depths of the universe. They could be packed with seeds, Sid. Bezos is probably putting them on Amazon as I speak. <laughs> I suppose this alien seed thing might be possible. You're starting to get me worried, Hancock. Possible? It's a downright certainty. All that floating around up there, they don't even shower that lot, do they? Wait a minute, I can hear scratching at the window. <laughs> You're all right, Inspector Hancock. Come and look outside, Sid. There's a giant beanstalk. <laughs> yeah, very funny. But it's not going to work on me. Hang on a minute, there is a giant beanstalk. I like beans, I'll have some for tea. You're not going to get any runner beans off this one, Sid. All you'll get is a ruddy great giant on your head, or the flaming beanstalk will eat you. <laughs> this is unbelievable. How did it grow so fast? It must have been that Arthur Slugs. Probably dropped some seeds on his way out. Out of a hole in his pocket, like the Great Escape. <laughs> Thought I saw you chuck some seeds out of the window, Anchor, after Slugs left. You're not going to blame this one on me, Sid. I might have done. I didn't want any of his cock's foot and pendulous sedge getting up to God knows what indoors, did I? <laughs> there you are. It is your fault. Wait a minute. Look over there. I thought I spotted the giant. He's with someone else, and he's got an axe. I'm going out. If I'm not back in ten minutes, Sid, get some of your drinking pals from the East Sheem Arms and come and rescue me. Here it is, the base of the beanstalk. It wasn't here yesterday. It must be growing at a tremendous rate. Hello there, my good man. Is this your beanstalk? Oh, it isn't, but the council want it shifted. 
It's brought you the light to the mayor's garden. Quite. Gloomy great things, aren't they? So you've come to cut it down then? We have. Me and my mate Jack here. So that's Jack, is it? But can't he wait until you're at the top? You're the giant, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm not going up there. That's the old point of cutting it, isn't it? I'm not going to let you cut this beanstalk down until you're halfway up it, mate. Shall I hit him, Arthur? Sid, help! <laughs> Don't you dare hit me with that axe. Hit the man with a rickney face. <laughs> What do you mean? Hit him! This is the place, officer. I dropped a packet of seed here yesterday. What's going on here? I'm afraid I'm going to have to arrest the lot of you. <laughs> Quick, Sid. Let's cut the beanstalk down before it starts to flower and spread. <laughs>